So ferrets are super wiggly, which can make cutting their nails super difficult. But did you know there's one big secret that all the best ferret owners use when cutting their nails? Hey guys, it's Haley from The Modern Ferret, and today I'm gonna to teach you the easiest, quickest way to cut your ferret's nails. Let's get started. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have all your necessary supplies. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to have clippers you feel comfortable with. We personally use these ones, they're cat clippers. You can also use human nail clippers, but there's a trick specifically how to use those ones, which I'll touch on in a second. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to use the secret sauce about all this, which is oil. We use this salmon oil. There's other brands you can use too. We'll make sure to link this one specifically because we really like it. This you definitely wanna have on hand. Salmon oil is going to distract your ferrets while you cut their nails and make it 10 times easier. It's gonna blow your mind. Last up, you're gonna need something called styptic powder. Styptic powder is something they use on dogs and cats too. And basically it's meant to have on hand just in case you cut your ferret's nail too short and it ends up bleeding. We'll talk about how to avoid that in a little bit, but you wanna have styptic powder or cornstarch on hand in case that happens. Okay, so you have all your supplies. So now it's time to grab your ferret. Take your ferret and put them in your lap, belly up, facing outwards. Grab that treat you have on hand and put a little tiny drop of that oil in the upper part of their belly. Right there. There you go. Now, if they don't see it immediately, fold your ferret over and show them with the little nose. Make them become aware of that oil. As soon as they start licking, you have about one to two minutes of distraction to cut their nails. Next up, grab your ferret's paw. What I like to do is use my thumb and forefinger to kind of spread out those little toe beans and select the first nail I want to start with. Once I have that one, I rotate their paw about 90 degrees so that I can get a really good look at that nail and have a really good idea of where that quick is. Instead of going above the foot and clipping down like I see some people do, I actually like to go under the paw so that I can rest those clippers on their little toe bean as kind of like an anchor point and then I can clip from there. Once you feel confident that you're in the right angle for their nail and you've given enough distance from that quick and you're ready to cut, do it quick and decisively. Don't go slow and push gradually down because you could actually kind of crush that nail, which is not a good technique. You want to be quick, clip it. If you are using human nail clippers instead of those cat clippers, instead of using them like you do uh, when you're cutting your own nails, you actually want to rotate them 90 degrees because this makes them functionally a lot closer to those cat clippers, which will make it a lot easier to use them. Repeat those same steps with all of their paws and each of their nails. Keep in mind that the back paws can tend to be shorter with their nails than the front paws. That's pretty normal. You need to be a little bit more careful when you're spotting that quick on the back feet because their nails are shorter. If you do end up cutting that quick, that pink part in their nail, don't panic. They may start to bleed. It is painful for them, but it happens. If you have that styptic powder or cornstarch on hand, this is when you're gonna to wanna to take it out. Get a little pinch of it in your hand and apply pressure to that nail that you cut too short that's starting to bleed. This will help stop the bleeding, but if it keeps bleeding for more than a few minutes, you really should consult your vet. you're gonna to wanna to find a really well-lit environment in your home. The worst thing you can do is go to a really dark, shadowy, poorly lit place and try to get a good look at your ferret's foot and grab their nail, possibly end up cutting a part that could be really painful for your ferret. The best thing that you can do is find a really well-lit environment to cut your ferret's nails. It'll give you a better sense of what you're working with and also it will help you locate something called the quick, which you wanna avoid at all costs. You don't wanna cut the quick. The quick is that pink part you're gonna see inside their nail. We have the same kind of anatomy in our own nail. This pink part, it has nerve endings, it has a blood supply. And think about when you cut this part of your nail. If you cut your nails too short, it really hurts, right? What if you cut your nails so short it bleeds? How bad does that hurt? The same thing happens when you cut your ferret's nail too short and you cut that part called the quick. They start bleeding and it's really painful. And it teaches them that maybe they don't wanna behave when you clip their nails because they might get hurt. So avoid that part at all costs. The next thing I wanna show you guys is still keep looking at that ferret nail. You see the quick, you see that clear part on top of the quick, that the quick's inside. That's the part that you can cut. 
but you want to cut a specific angle. You don't want to cut the nail like this. You see this angle that I have? You know, towards the foot, because you have a really good chance of, of nicking that quick, and it also creates a really weird angle. Their nail starts growing weird. It's not a good idea. You also don't want to cut dead straight to their nail. You want to follow the natural curve of the nail and cut like that, right? That's the best way to cut the nail so that it doesn't, you know, split or splinter or anything weird like that. So the best time to cut your ferret's nails would be when they've been sleeping for a while, they're drowsy, they're calm, they're more apt to let you do something, right? The worst time is going to be grabbing your ferret in the middle of them playing, wrestling with their brothers, running around the house. They're not going to want to stay still and you're, you're working against their energy level. We typically cut our ferret's nails every two weeks, two to three weeks maybe. You'll really notice if your ferret's nails have gotten too long, if they start to get split or sharp and when you hold your ferret, they scratch you, they leave scratch marks because the longer they get, the more they develop into a point. That's a good indicator that your ferret's nails are getting too long. If your ferrets are playing around outside a lot and doing things that would naturally wear down their nails, you may not need to cut them as often. But for us, our ferrets are primarily indoor animals, so they're not getting that natural wear and tear that they would, you know, if they were in an outdoor environment. There's actually quite a few serious problems that can happen if you don't cut your ferret's nails frequently enough. Number one is your ferret's nails can actually, they grow too long. Your ferret's nails can get snagged and stuff. What happens if you're not home, you're not near them to unsnag them? They can walk on some surface or try to go in somewhere, get their nail cut, get so freaked out in a split second where they rip their nail out. They could struggle, struggle while you're not there and break their arm or their leg and seriously hurt themselves. That's something that could be easily avoided if you make sure to cut their nails regularly. Another reason you need to cut your ferret's nails that comes to us from Ferrets for Dummies is that apparently if ferret nails grow too long, it can actually cause a ferret's foot to not rest properly on the ground, which can cause serious foot problems. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of major reasons that you want to cut your ferret's nails on a regular, dependable schedule. Again, we recommend about every two weeks. This was actually a question I saw on Google that I wanted to make sure to dispel. No, under no circumstances should you declaw your ferret. Frankly, they don't really want even cat owners to do it anymore. Ferrets don't even have nails like cats do. They have claws that are constantly out, more like a dog or something like that. So under no circumstances, no. The big part about all this is that you have something to distract your ferret while you're cutting their nails. That is why cutting ferret nails can be so hard. Ferrets are not known for wanting to stay still. They want to wiggle. You know, they like to cuddle, but when they don't want to cuddle, they don't want to stay still. But you need to cut their nails at moments they may not want to cuddle. So you need to have something on hand that's distracting to them. Salmon oil is a great way to distract your ferret, and that's why we definitely recommend having that on hand. Another thing is that when you use a treat to distract your ferret from nail clipping, They'll associate that activity with positive feelings. They'll actually look forward to getting their nail clipped instead of dreading it like a lot of animals do. So now that you know how to cut your ferret's nails, go ahead and give it a try and let us know how it went in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and if this was weaselly the best thing you've seen all day, make sure to like and subscribe. You hear him?